Hey guys, my name is Alexandra Valentine and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we post all things fashion, sewing related and sewing tutorials. If this is something you are interested in, kindly hit on the subscribe button to join the family. And if you end up enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. So in today's class, we are going to be drafting and sewing a cow neck top. So I have gone ahead to draft out a basic bodies. This is the back of a basic bodies because I guess by now we guys are familiar with drafting out a basic bodies. Like I said in my last video, I'm going to drop edited videos on that. So right now I'm going to use these basic bodies to cut out my front pattern. So the only thing and my back pattern first, the only thing I will do is just to add two inches on the middle part which for which is for my zipper allowance and then replace the half inch that we took for the front part okay so i'm replacing it at that point now and i'll just draw a straight line to meet the shoulder area and then connect it to the straight line on the paper okay so doing we have replaced that half inch you know the half inch can only be taken away for the front part not for the back part then I'll go ahead now and do, just cut around this pattern paper exactly as it is, okay? So in drafting a cow neck um, or cutting a cow neck top, it's the back that we'll be working on first. But because I want to save time and make this as easier as possible, I, I just decided to use my front pattern basic pattern paper to cut the back while I manipulate it like just add the zipper allowance and then replace that half inch around the armhole and you are good to go okay so just watch me as I cut out this part So after that, remember we've not cut out the neck. So at this point now, which is um our neck width or where the shoulder is stopping, I am just going to come down by um one inch, then just curve it to that point I pointed earlier. Okay, just to get our neckline for the just to get our neckline for the for the back part, okay? So um Remember, the reason why we did not cut out the neck is because this is a cow neck, okay? So, there's not supposed to be neck on the front part, hence why I'm just doing it separately on this fabric instead of the pattern paper. We do not want to tamper with our pattern paper because that pattern paper is a front pattern, okay? So, I'm just trying to open up this fabric because it was in a foot of, of two. Then I'll just keep it aside and we'll work on the front part. So for the front part now, um, the first thing we want to do is to place this pattern paper on, on a fabric, which is on a fold of two. And make sure that you have enough space at the top part. Like, do you get, do you see enough, enough fabric at the top part? So now we can cut open this pattern paper either at the waist, at the under post, on the chest line. Where no, it depends on how deep you want your cow neck to be. But for the purpose of this, um, for the purpose of my own style and what I want to use it for, I just cut it open at my chest area, okay? Because I don't want it to be reve revealing at all. But I want to have a cow effect so if you want yours to be lower than mine then just take your hand a bit lower as well either on the bust point under bust or waistline it depends on how deep you want it to be and if you want a fuller fuller cow effect okay you just shift your hand a little bit like 
a little further do you get so that it will be fuller if not but if you want it to be fuller that means there will be space like you have enough enough fabric i just opened my or um yeah open my at this level because i'm working with a little fabric okay so this is what i'm doing right now because i'm working with a little fabric i just decided to cut it like this then i'll just cut along the shoulder the armhole and then the sides if you have a lot of fabric you can just from that neckline just direct it straight instead of like instead of this triangle triangle level i did here i don't know if you understand so um at this point i'm just cutting out i'm just cutting out the the fabric like i'm cutting along the patterns just exactly but while i'm cutting on the shoulder i will be adding half inch but when i get to the armhole i'll cut exactly around the pattern paper you can see me making a notch at that shoulder area so that i'll know the parts to join when i want to attach my back to this part okay i just decided to place something on it so that um it will not be moving while i cut so just watch me as i cut the remaining part So this is what I have after I finish cutting out the fabric. I'm just going to open up this and then you see the effect. So I'm practically just like bringing the shoulder together. You see I hold that notch, notch that point, point that I notched earlier. And I hold it. You can see the effect of the cow. You can see the cow effect, right? So if I had cut um a little bit slower, that was when I was cutting across the front pattern paper you see that this is going to drop lower as well you get but i want it to be very modest because i want to use this for a presentation or i use this for a presentation rather so now i cut i also went ahead to cut like um a little bit interfacing yeah to turn it over because i did not have um enough fabric as when i was cutting it out if not i would have cut it together then i also did the same thing for the back you can see i just cut a little interfacing that i just used to turn the neck and then i did the same for the other side as well to stitch both the interfacing and the main fabric together then i'm just going to trim out the excesses excesses because i want this to to relax so i'm just going to trim out the excesses and um do the same thing for the back as well
So right now, it is time to join both the front and the back piece together. Remember, I notched a particular area, right? So it is from that part, part now that I notched that I am going to join the shoulder with, okay? And also join the other side also. Then I will go ahead as well to join the sides. So while I'm joining, I'm joining with two inches, um, two inches allowance because that was what I added when I was drafting out my pattern paper. So I'm just going to stitch two inches in along the sides, right? Then when I'm done, I will just fold one, two, then stitch it down. Just basically turn the hem of the top. Then when I'm done, I'll just come back and show you guys. This is what I have at the end of the day. I've joined the shoulder, the sides, I've folded the hem. So what is just left here now is to attach the sleeves and zip at the back. So I have done that. You can see I've attached the sleeves and attached the zip at the back. Then I'll give this a very good press. At the end of the day, your sleeve should come out looking like this. So you can see that cut around the waist area, right? Yeah, I had to cut it around the waist area. Make sure that this fits before you notch it, please. So I have to cut it around the waist area so that it will relax when I turn it over. Okay, so I've attached the sleeves and um ironed it. I'm just going I'm just going to iron it now and show you guys the finished product. So if you follow every step in this video, you are going to get the same result. Or even a dress or a top more beautiful than mine thank you so much if you've watched to this point of the video you are the real mvp thank you so much but please don't forget to like this video subscribe to join the family like this video guys so that this video will reach to as many as possible thank you so much guys until next time bye